Hi everybody, thanks for watching. Yesterday afternoon the CDC issued new guidance for cruise lines regarding COVID protocols, vaccination, testing, and responses. They did this quietly in the afternoon. On this video, I am going to break down what is on their lengthy guidance, what it means for cruising, what it means for you, what it means to the cruise lines, and any reaction that's been so far from the cruise lines. So stick around and hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. Hi, this is Bill, and this is the finest travel beat with Angela and Bill, your source for all things travel. Today's update is regarding, uh, again, COVID protocols, testing, and how the CDC fits into it all. Now, on Monday, the CDC kind of dropped a bombshell saying that they were ending their, uh, their COVID color coding program and that they would issue new guidance in lieu of guidelines. Yesterday afternoon, those guide, that guidance was issued on their website. I have a video yesterday with some of my thoughts. Today, I'm going to try to keep it as brief as possible. I know your time is valuable and just kind of, kind of break down what it, what it says and what it means. And uh, you, you probably already know my thoughts. You can check other videos that I've posted on my thoughts on the whole process. Essentially, the guidelines became guidance. And from my reading, again, it's lengthy. I'll post the link in the comments if you want to look at it yourself. I highly recommend you do so. Go right to the source. The guidelines became guidance. They are still recommending that cruise lines sail at 90% vaccinated passengers and 95% crew vaccinated. They are still recommending that cruise, line, cruise passengers be tested within three days and highly recommending that they be tested within one day. Now, the difference is that the guidelines, which were, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but guidelines usually meant like a suggestion going back. Well, over the last couple of years, guidelines became rule of law without passing a law. But I digress. So the guidelines became guidance. Guidance, I take it as being even more of a suggestion. So from my quick reading of it from yesterday into today, I'm not a lawyer. Uh, it seems like really not much has changed. They just said rather than a mandatory and having the color coding program, it was a voluntary suggestion program. They are also, uh, they, like I said, they eliminated the color coding. They are suggesting that people be up to date on their vaccinations, which is your last dose or booster shot, those being within 270 days, those have, have not been a requirement of any type of US cruising. And by the way, I'm speaking specifically right now about US cruising to the Caribbean, Canada, Alaska, and European nations. They have very different uh, protocols and it's gonna depend on the port of entry. So anyway, the guidelines kind of became guidance. Uh, there's also language in there about attack rates, certain percentages of people testing positive on board and when the cruise lines should think about suspending operations. No cruise lines come anywhere close to these numbers that I'm seeing. Again, the information won't be in the, in, in the comments below. Uh, no, no cruise lines come close to that. They still have to report to the CDC any cases. That's not unusual. The cruise lines report norovirus cases on a regular basis. So what we're kind of at is there's a whole lot of change, but not a whole lot of change. So, so far, the cruise line reaction, Azamara is the only cruise line that has announced that they would be ending testing for cruises based in the United States unless required by the local port authorities they're going to. Now, if you're not familiar with Azamara, Azamara is a luxury brand cruise line. It's a small cruise line. They don't do a whole lot of cruising within the United States. They have some very small luxury ships. As a matter, it does require vaccinations, but they're eliminating, eliminating the testing component. So they're the only ones that have moved so far. Uh, Norwegian, Royal Caribbean, Carnival, uh, they all have stuff up on their website still as of this morning when I checked a few minutes ago that they are awaiting the guidance from the CDC, which was issued yesterday afternoon. So it's a wait and see what happens. 
Now, I'll go one step further. What I think is really interesting is Norwegian, a couple of weeks ago, uh, updated their COVID protocol saying that they would not require testing of any of their passengers unless required by the local governments involved. That language inc included the United States because at that point, the local government, which was the United States, required testing. That's no longer the case on, on everyone. So it's kind of interesting. Norwegian has said that they are still requiring vaccine, uh, testing as of this point. It was put out on their website a couple of days ago. But it's interesting. It's kind of in contradiction with their own language a couple of weeks ago. Anyway, what does it mean to you? Well, before I tell you what it means to you, do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Put any comments down below on your thoughts on all of this or any questions you may have, things you want me to address in future videos. Again, subscriptions cost nothing to you. It's just a matter of hitting a button. Hit the notification bell as well. That way you will get updated as soon as I put any of these new update videos out. I'm not going to kill you. I'm going to, you know, I'm not going to put a video out unless I have something to say. Uh, I'm not, it's not going to be a clickbait type of thing either. So. I, my goal is to get you good information, information that's useful, and information that hopefully makes travel less burdensome for you. So hit that subscribe button, like, really appreciate it. Angela and I really appreciate it. So as far as what it means to you, testing and vaccinations on cruise lines right now, not a whole lot has changed. Uh, really almost nothing for 90% of you is 99% of you has changed this week. Now it's Thursday morning. We have today, we have Friday, we're coming up on the end of the month. Let's see what happens over the next few few weeks. I have another video explaining, uh, you know, several videos explaining what we thought, where it was going to be. Again, I think testing is probably going to go away or be relaxed before vaccinations will. But hopefully we're heading in the right direction. I Just, uh, just be patient. Um, follow along here. You can also follow Angela and I on Facebook. We have a Facebook group. Uh, finest travel beat with Angela and Bill. We'll be posting some updates over there as well, some information, and join, jump in the conversation. Uh, anybody's welcome to join. Throw a post up there. Tell us about your last cruise or where you've been. So anyway, be patient. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. And until next time, we will see you on our next adventure. Bye-bye, everybody.